I watched my first episode of the Jersey Shore on a Navy couch in the living room of my first post-college apartment. The unit number, 420, once made a blockbuster video employee snicker. I graduated in 2007 and months later began a job as an assistant buyer at Neiman Marcus, foolishly under the impression that my workday would resemble Rachel Green's on Friends. It was actually a lot of writing purchase orders and analyzing sales, and probably closer to Chandler Bing's job of. But later, a marathon seduced me, much like a good beat drew the cast to the dance floor of Jenks Club. The show and its subjects were unlike anything this Texas native had ever seen. One cast member, Paul Michael Del Vecchio, aka Polly D, had a tanning bed in his home and said he spent 25 minutes on his gravity-defying blowout. Another housemate, Mike the Situation Sorrentino, had a habit of lifting his shirt to reveal chisel dabs. Both were devoted to a routine of gym, tan, laundry, GTL. The cast's number one priority was having a good time. In sharp contrast on an episode of its sequel, Jersey Shore Family Vacation last month, Jenny J. While Farley address is missing Polly's DJ gig, can you imagine driving all the way to Madison Square Garden and staying out past 9 p.m.? This is the same girl who declared on the original series Deb. And by comparison, as a single woman without children who at times feels like her future is as mysterious as the blank page before you, it can feel like my personal life is at a standstill. Natasha Bedingfield talks unwritten revival on TikTok, plus her favorite Hills cast members Natasha Bedingfield on The Masked Singer, identities of Pepper and Jester are revealed young me, with more face collagen, added Jersey Shore to my lineup of reality TV, which included E. S. Keeping up with TH. We were all young, making mistakes and figuring out life together. In May, MTV revealed plans for Jersey Shore 2. Zero with a new cast that's traded their poofs for plump pouts, and UV rays for spray tans.